If there's one thing that you can do to prevent leaks in your foundation waterproofing system, it's to ensure good drainage. Drainage is the key to a dry and durable foundation. It doesn't matter how good your waterproofing system is, water always wins, and we need a strategy to drain and divert that water away from the foundation. In this video, we're talking about how installing a simple dimple mat may be one of the most important things that you can do to keep your home dry, especially if you're building a basement or a conditioned crawl space. Let's get into it. Dimple mats and drainage membranes have been used in foundation systems for over 50 years and have a very good track record of preventing leaks from hydrostatic pressure as the repeating dimples form an unrestricted drainage space between the foundation wall and the backfilled soils. If the soils become saturated with water, the water that leaks behind the dimple mat simply trickles down the dimple mat or the foundation wall and is directed to the foundation drainage tile. Well, you might be asking, why can't you just use a really good waterproofing system? Well, you certainly can, but there's no guarantee that it's going to provide long-term resistance to submerged conditions and hydrostatic pressure. Hydrostatic pressure is the weight of water that's pressing up against the surface, and that water is going to find any imperfection in the waterproofing, whether it's a small crack in the waterproofing or in the concrete foundation wall that didn't get completely sealed or covered up. It could be a control joint or a cold joint between the foundation wall and the footing, or it could be new cracks that form in the concrete because concrete always cracks over time, and the waterproofing may not be able to bridge that gap when it forms, but that pressure exerted by the buildup of water around the foundation should never be underestimated. The whole concept of foundation drainage is nothing new by any means. The ancient Romans had a pretty good understanding of the importance of drainage, and backfilled the below grade sections of their buildings with gravel and sand to reduce the amount of water that would leak inside and alleviate hydrostatic pressure, the idea being that the gaps between the stones were large enough to provide some pressure relief. The benefit of using a dimple mat as opposed to clean drainage rock or gravel is that it's significantly cheaper than backfilling the entire foundation with gravel. It prevents soils and sediment from clogging the drainage space, whereas drainage rock is more susceptible if it's not wrapped in filter fabric. And the dimple mat provides the benefits of a vapor barrier, which prevents moisture from constantly challenging the waterproofing or the damp proofing installed on the foundation wall. So we're getting drainage, we're getting a capillary break, and we're getting a vapor barrier. And so we're essentially creating a below-grade rain screen for the foundation walls, and a space where hydrostatic pressure can be alleviated. Dr. John Straub, who is one of the most influential pioneers in modern building science, has emphasized the importance of drainage in foundation systems, and that if you could only choose between a dimple mat and waterproofing, the dimple mat would be more important. And this, quite frankly, makes a lot of sense, considering that it's the hydrostatic pressure that drives water inside, followed by capillary wicking. Now that's not to say that we shouldn't apply a damp proofing or a waterproofing to the foundation walls to provide a water repellent surface, it's just that any imperfections in the waterproofing are relatively insignificant with that dimple mat in place. Guys, good drainage practices should never be compromised. This is not something you want to cheap out on. Do it right the first time when you have access to the foundation walls before backfilling, and you won't have to deal with potential leaks and moisture problems later on, as retrofitting an interior drainage system can be significantly more expensive, especially if you have to pull out moldy or water-damaged interior finishes and refinish that space. Leave a like and subscribe if you haven't already, and we'll be back next week with another video. For now, good luck with your projects. Cheers.